glass of Chardonnay, ain't that right? Oh, you're right there, Obadiah. Right. Who'd have thought 30 years ago we'd all be drinking Chardonnay? Them days, we'd be glad to have the price of a cup of tea. Right, a cup of cold tea. Right. Without milk, or sugar. Or tea. In a crack cup and all. We never used to have a cup. Had to drink out a rolled up newspaper. The best we could manage was to suck on a piece of damp cloth. But you know, we were happy in those days. Although we were poor. Because we were poor. Right. As my old dad used to say to me, money doesn't bring you happiness, son. He were right. Right. We were happier then, and we had nothing. We used to live in this tiny old tumble-down house with great big holes in the roof. House? You were lucky to live in an house. We used to live in a room, all 26 of us, no furniture. Half the floor were missing. We were all huddled together in one corner for fear of falling. Well, you were lucky to have a room. We used to live in Corridor. Corridor? We used to dream of living in a corridor. It would have been a palace to us. We used to live in an old water tank on rubbish tip. We'd all woke up every morning by having a load of rotten fish dumped all over us. House? Huh. Well, I say it were a house. Just all in ground covered by a sheet of tarpaulin. But it were house to us. We were a victim from our hole in the ground. We had to go live in a lake. Well, you were lucky to have a lake. There were 150 of us, stuck in shoebox in middle of road. A cardboard box? Aye. You were lucky. We lived for three months in a rolled up newspaper and a septic tank. We used to have to get up every morning at six o'clock, clean the newspaper, and go to work down the mill 14 hours a day, week in, week out, for six pence a week. And when we got home, our dad would slash us to sleep with his belt. Luxury! We had to get out of the lake at three o'clock in the morning, clean the lake, eat an handful of hot gravel, work 20 hours down the mill for two pence a month, come home and our dad would beat us on the head and neck with a broken bottle. If we were lucky. Well, of course. We had it tough. We had to get up out shoebox in the middle of the night and lick road clean with our tongues. We had to eat half handful of freezing cold gravel. We used to work 24 hours a day at mill for four pence every six years. And when we got home, our dad would slice us in two with bread knife. Right. Had to wake up in the morning, 10 o'clock at night, half hour before I went to bed, eat a lump of cold poison, work 29 hours a day down mill, and pay mill owner for permission to come to work. And when we got home, our dad would kill us and dance on our grave singing hallelujah. Aye, you try telling young people of today that, they won't believe you. No, they won't.